All right, friends, let's hope that this video is just an overreaction to internet bravado and all of this is just stupid nonsense, but you can never be too safe these days. In clown world, anything's possible. And it looks as if right now on Twitter, you have a, a group of people calling themselves Jailhouse Lawyers Speak, and they're trying to get a location on the jail cell of Kyle Rittenhouse. And so... Is this a hit? Are, are these idiots trying to put a hit on this kid? And are they doing it out on the open? Now, any reasonable person would be like, this is stupid. There's no way that a group of people are so fucking stupid that they would put their plans out on internet. But welcome to 2020, guys, where these idiots are literally localizing and scheduling their riots on fucking Twitter. I know, it's weird, because Twitter keeps telling everybody how they've got a whole platform full of diversity hires who are part of the safe safety trust trust and safety division they all walk around twitter headquarters wearing motherfucking capes while they refill their soy lattes with their skinny jeans on but somehow can't ever seem to catch any of these people who are gathering other people together up on their own fucking platform in order to incite violence to loot stores burn businesses down and in these uh situations kill fucking people can't ever seem to catch those people right so Again, this is probably just a stupid person on Twitter saying something stupid, trying to look like a big baller out there, trying to be a shot caller. Or it could be legitimate. Who knows? We're over here on the Donald Dot Win, and this is this is why these people got nuked off of Reddit. You you are not allowed to have a group of people who are not uh, drinking the commie Kool-Aid on any of these platforms and having 700 plus thousand followers. Oh shit, no. Because they find shit like this, they broadcast it out and that information spreads. And so thank God these guys got their own Donald.Win site up and running because we need to call this out. This needs to be blasted. All of Kyle Rittenhouse's lawyers need to be made aware right now that you've got a place, Jailhouse Lawyers Speak, at Jail Law Speak, on Twitter right now, looking for Kyle Rittenhouse. So here's the post over on the Donald.Win. It says, happening. They're going to fucking Epstein Kyle. An Act Blue connected prison rights commie group is seeking to put a hit on Kyle. They want to know where his cell should be should he get locked up so they can take care of him. And it's got some images. Here is the tweet from Jailhouse Lawyer Speak. And it says, if he goes to a cell and like anyone gets a lock on his location, email it to us. Hmm, interesting. Here is the uh, their Twitter account information. They've got a Facebook page. And then when you go to their Facebook page of Jailhouse Lawyers Speak, they have a Act Blue Donate Prison Strike page. Now, Act Blue, of course, is the Democrat platform for funneling or laundering money to these different Democrat platforms. So again, I'm hoping that this is all just internet nonsense, keyboard warriors trying to act big, but you can never be too sure these days. This Kyle Rittenhouse really fucks up the mainstream narrative when it comes to Black Lives Matter and Antifa, right? Um, they wanted to keep burning down Kenosha for a few more days. But after this situation, they were forced, the Democrat scumbags running that place were actually forced to bring in the National Guard, and National Guard quelled this right away. So Kyle Rittenhouse done fucked up somebody's plans right off the bat. That was supposed to be a bigger flashpoint. They keep going forward with this Jacob Blake situation that kicked off these riots hard, even though we know that this dude was a rapist, that this dude had a warrant out for his arrest, that this dude was fighting with cops, that this dude was an all-around shithead and the police shooting was completely justified. All of these idiots on the left don't care about any of this. They go full steam potato with this situation. They're trying to pull in all of their cards. They got all of Hollywood now trying to do a strike. They got the NBA trying to do a strike on this idiot. MLB, all of these places are trying to get everybody, oh, everybody, feelings, 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 feelings. Look, we care so much, feelings, feelings, feelings. Over this shithead? No, no. This dude, this was a justifiable killing, and the entire thing got quelled pretty much right away. Maybe, what, three days? Is it Was it three days after the Jacob Blake situation that Kyle went down there and started blasting people? This fucks up their plan. This dude, this 17-year-old this kid shot three people, all convicted felons, 
All convicted felons, man. People are like, holy shit, why were there pedophiles in Kenosha rioting? Why were there convicted robbers, convicted domestic abusers <laughs> running around? Why does BLM and Antifa seem to be a magnet for convicted fucking felons? This kid done fucked everybody's shit up. So it wouldn't be, uh, be beyond me to see that they want to do some damage to this kid. Uh, on top of all of this, I think the top comment in response to this post here is people pointing out, this kid has a super team behind him. He's got the Justice League of America now behind him in terms of lawyers. He has attracted the Sandman lawyer. He's got Lynn Wood working for him. All of these people uh, behind him got a track record for fucking people's shit up. I, they, they pulled a lot of money out of these mainstream media talking heads. And so, again... Uh, you silence this kid, who everybody has called a white supremacist now. You've got members of the uh, the House of Representatives calling him a white supremacist. Everybody with a blue check mark on Twitter has been calling him a white supremacist. You've got Hollywood stars calling him a white supremacist. Everybody on the left has been calling this kid a white supremacist. Uh, these lawyers, that Nick Sandman lawyer is fucking loving this because he's going to detonate all these idiots. There is no evidence that Kyle Rittenhouse is a white supreme. None. Absolutely none. And now all of that goes away if this kid ends up getting fucking Epstein in this jail cell. So listen, again, one more time, just to make it super clear. I'm not saying that there's a hit out for this kid. What I'm saying is we need to make sure people don't feel emboldened to put a hit out on this kid. And if you're a dumb, LARPing, shithead Twitter account, jailhouse lawyer speak, you need to understand, we're watching you motherfuckers, and I'm hoping that the people who are representing Kyle at this point also take note of this and start sending lawyers to this place. If anything happens to this kid, if anything happens to this kid, we know exactly where to look, and we know exactly who to start holding responsi uh, responsible for this. We know where we need to start this investigation at. Jailhouse lawyers speak, and anybody connected to this fucking place. Maybe, maybe, maybe Jack Dorsey should uh, put his adrenochrome and his kid sniffing on hold for a second and start regulating his platform. Maybe stop so much looking for people who are questioning how many motherfucking genders are up in this place and start questioning all of these people facilitating riots and murdering on your fucking platform. They're going to be a nice sell in Gitmo for you. Jack Dorsey, he probably going to like it though. <laughs> I got a feeling that motherfucker going to like prison life. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, get the word out. Make sure that people understand. We're watching you. Don't say stupid shit. Don't try to be internet tough guys over here with this situation. Don't fuck around. Don't find out. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the video. Support the channel. If you want to be kept up to date on these lefties doing weird stuff, sending out weird signals, hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.